The Florida Supreme Court today struck down the state's revised death penalty law, saying it does not go far enough to meet the requirements called for in the Eighth Amendment of the Constitution. Channel 4's Chris Parento joining us live from the Duval County Courthouse with a look at what this ruling will do to the pending death penalty cases locally. Chris. It's likely going to delay those pending death penalty cases while they wait on a ruling from the legislature in terms of the new guidelines for sentencing. But after the Supreme Court uh, ruled down that uh, unconstitutional 10 to 2 recommendation from juries, it will now have also an impact on cases that have already had death sentences issued. With the Supreme Court's ruling, legislators will now have to pass laws to cover sentencing. But according to attorney Randy Reap, at least they have a framework of what will be required. Now, Florida is not the oddball. It's much more in compliance with the rest of the states. In my opinion, I think it's the end of the death penalty uh, in a meaningful way going forward. And that's probably the right decision. In the ruling, the Supreme Court said, quote, this means that the penalty may not be arbitrarily imposed, but must be reserved for only defendants convicted of the most aggravated and least mitigated of murders. I think what you'll see is a lot less death penalty cases pursued because it will really jam up the system. The ruling also says requiring unanimity will force jurors to be more thorough as they deliberate, saying, quote, Juries not required to reach unanimity tend to take less time deliberating and cease deliberating when the required majority vote is achieved rather than attempting to obtain a full consensus. A spokesperson for the state attorney's office sent me this statement about the ruling, quote, the death penalty is still a viable sentence in the state of Florida. Today's decision by the Florida Supreme Court will not affect the way we determine whether to seek a death sentence in a case. As always, we will follow the law and in appropriate cases, we will seek the death penalty. Reap also says this opens up a lot of opportunity for those on death row to try to appeal their sentences because the ruling does not automatically commute those death sentences to life sentences. It doesn't automatically do it, but it will give fertile ground to people wanting to argue in my particular case, the death penalty as applied is unconstitutional under Hearst. The Supreme Court in Delaware had also recently ruled that it was unconstitutional for a non-unanimous jury to recommend the death sentence. This left only Florida and Alabama as states where you didn't need a unanimity from the jury, but now with today's Supreme Court ruling, that leaves only one state left that doesn't need a unanimous jury to recommend death. Live at the Duval County Courthouse, I'm Chris Parento, Channel 4, The Local Station.